Hi everyone. So it's one more live session today on Instagram, and uh, we have somebody whom we will all love to interact with. We hi Unnati. Thanks for joining. Mommy Sunshine. Thank you so much for joining. And it's really going to be an amazing Insta live session because we have. Our guest today, who is a mom who actually homeschools her own son, so I would like to tell a lot of parents out there that there's a difference between homeschooling and home learning. A lot of people are not aware of that difference, and there is a lot of marketing. There's a lot of money which is at stake these days because everybody wants to homeschool. their child so our guest for today is amruta langs i have a lot to speak about her i'm just waiting her for her to join in so amruta does a lot of sessions for parents and all of this is out of the goodwill what she has she's such an amazing person because i know her since years now we've been school friends and today we are still in touch it's really amazing so i will really appreciate if everyone has their queries answered i hope so the session should be indeed amazing and whatever queries or questions which you have about homeschooling can also be answered at the same time because a major factor which plays role in homeschooling which you all need to understand is homeschooling is not for the weak hearted believe me so i have been following amruta for all these years and i know how difficult it is i mean i have been just following moms believe me it's not my cup of tea and i consider myself like a person who can really multitask a lot but i am definitely not a homeschooling mom i'm a mom who can maybe uh, get my daughter to do things and activities which i will enjoy doing so we spend a lot of time doing things together and it's a way of learning so presently in the lockdown i may be getting them to hi veena thanks for joining so it's all about uh, getting my daughter to participate in things so we learn a lot and what i have learned from mothers who exclusively homeschool i really follow a lot of them and i have learned one thing that a child when he or she learns to play by himself or herself there is a lot of homeschooling happening so to get it very simple homeschooling is actually a child who might have never gone to a formal school never ever or children who have gone to schooling as in who been to school but they have stopped schooling and they are learning exclusively from home so that is something what home schooling is all about and there's a difference between home learning and home schooling which uh, amruta will explain us more in detail and just today we had a discussion about how people are marketing the concept of you know home schooling and you have worksheets and you have uh, lesson plans believe me homeschooling is not about that and when uh, l- let's even the schooling part it's all about learning so learning happens everywhere yeah so that's really nice to read from someone who is a mom with twins that's a big struggle believe me it's really difficult to handle one child for me so i'm never ever going to think about another one but imagine having twins who have been home school for like 10 years it's it's really incredible i mean hats off to those parents because home schooling is not teaching it is a way of life so we have um, amruta who's joined us this opportunity to introduce her as we're just waiting for her to join in Hi Amrita thank you so much for joining Hi Namita thanks for inviting me Oh no no this is nothing Oops sorry my stand is fell 
Iya. Sure. So I'm just seeing a pixelated image. I think yeah, we'll have a better picture. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, I I was just trying to give a brief idea about homeschooling, and who can explain it better than you? So I want to, <laughs> so rather than me introducing you, I want you to introduce yourself for the simple reason okay. that you deserve all that credit. So you better oh take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so. i'm basically a polyglot and a linguist so a polyglot uh, many people uh, are not aware a polyglot is a person who speaks more than five languages so i'm into foreign languages and i have knowledge of 22 foreign languages so uh, that's like so i thought i would be surprised because i know it quite since a lot of time but i yes, would uh, really appreciate that <laughs> and uh, being an educator in this uh, education as a teacher as a uh, sometimes you know it's a thing part of the entire system sometimes i felt that uh, when i have my child i know i want what is school school and whether it's legal or not but something i just knew that i wanted something different and not this it's it's just that again not because it is all negative not because schools are bad yeah i thought that that is just not something i had what did i have in my head what is freedom freedom is like okay i am not going to expect at all am i my child at all are we not going to learn at all no what is freedom to choose book freedom to choose curriculum freedom to choose syllabus freedom to choose the pace which i which or my kid wants to learn correct this obviously it all customized you know and it's like a, a pizza can be customized i always thought why not a worksheet why not a curriculum why can't we customize that decided that uh, we should start homeschooling so uh, the question is that uh, which i so the reason for today's uh, session was i've been seeing a lot of parents you know who have jumped into the bandwagon saying that we need to homeschool our children so i had like the you know the the concept that homeschooling is not for the weak hearted when i started this i just mentioned it is not for the weak hearted and people and normally like what does she think of herself you know so i said just wait and watch because you don't know the journey of a homeschooling mom so it's basically a way of life which sorry a lot of parents might not be aware so uh, what i wanted to clarify is that there are doubts with regards to homeschooling and teaching from home i think if sorry. you could highlight more on that sorry. and what are the key points about homeschooling sorry. correct so firstly what is happening right now in lockdown and uh, the uh, online schooling or uh, uh, another home learning or home teaching is not home schooling exactly home schooling, so we have started home schooling 3 years back why we started i just now said like we wanted freedom and we wanted to customize our each and every book curriculum pace our learning basically now having said that uh, how difficult it is how easy it is because it is a way of life when i when we say it is a way of life it means 
homeschooling is not just a decision that can be taken overnight that oh i'm fed up of schools i want to homeschool no it can't it cannot happen oh the world is going to i mean the world is in lockdown uh, it's a doomsday and we start homeschooling no nothing like that happens right so when you're saying you want to homeschool uh, it's not just a preparation from you as a mother it is a preparation of the entire family what do you mean by entire family preparation it's not preparation of worksheets and activities it's a mental preparation wherein uh, firstly is your child ready and willing to do that because if it is not and even if you totally believe in the system it is no use doing it similarly even for my child agastya when he was uh, so we have homeschooled him for one year then he experienced a normal school for a year and that is the time he came back to us and said ki i apni shala is better so so we try to check on that ke uh, are there any negative things that he has in mind because we never wanted to end the school life as a on a negative note he always should think that okay that is also something good home schooling is also something good but we have adopted it because we like it or we want to follow this way of life it's as simple as that there shouldn't be uh, a negative thought in your mind and also he is we have always told him that and we constantly ask him that if you ever feel like going back to the system please let us know we are ready to put you back to school so all i'm trying to say is that this is a way of life but even if it is a way of life and even if these are your principles or you totally believe in the system so first and foremost you have to ask or check or tell uh, or talk to your child or children and ask them if they are ready for this how are they going to know what is homeschooling which means you have to prepare yourself you have to do a lot of homework and research and understand what is homeschooling when i say you it doesn't mean only the mother the mother and father the yeah. parents need to be on one note uh, on on similar page sorry on similar page where they both understand what they are diving into it Correct. won't happen that the father believes in no 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 i want school and the mother says i don't want school so even in our case i would love to share that my husband initially he he didn't know what is school schooling and he was not very much open to the idea but when we did the research when we started our homework i used to share lot of links with him and i used to send him lot of material to read and he used to actually <laughs> read he was being a student you know because maybe he didn't get much time to do his own research but he was like okay you do the research and send it to me i'll read it you know you tell me what i need to prepare and as he started slowly understanding it and then we came on the same page and then we spoke with our child okay in indian systems there are other people also involved the grandparents and i think even the grandparents must understand this what is homeschooling so all i'm trying to say is it's a preparation of the family i'm not saying that okay then chacha chachi nana nani everyone has to be on the page and they have to agree no but at least the parent and the child has to understand and accept this yeah. otherwise you'll never be able to because you know when you hear stories that uh, oh but fir uh, socialization ka kya karenge what will my neighbors think so if you are on not not on same page if you are not uh, convinced your own by your own self or you don't believe in your own self then you'll never be able to convince anyone or forget convincing but you'll never be even an, able to answer anyone confidently that why you are doing this correct it's not going to be something like so many people think you know it's going to be uh, homeschooling is full of fancy worksheets and loaded with activities and experiments not necessarily there are times when we get bored and i think getting bored is beautiful and after reading winnie pooh my son also says isn't it i good to be <laughs> bored even winnie pooh says that i'm like absolutely agastya <laughs> yeah, and i think you will agree with me i mean you are a doctor yourself and you will agree to this right yeah it's getting bored so now today we had uh, so i uh, do follow uh, a lot of i mean i've been seeing you all these years i've seen a lot of homeschooling on that's what i was telling them a lot of them that it is not for somebody who is uh, uh, so you have left 
you practically left a lot of your work yes yes so, so that, that's i not, it, it, it's not like a sacrifice but it's a decision which is made yes. with will and Correct. i am not so, ready to leave so i have to never no yes that is a very so important point so uh and i which i would like to share uh, firstly i will share uh, with our family and then i will also share some experiences with other homeschooling families regarding the work now uh, it's not possible for everyone that uh, one parent uh, just stops working not just financially but there are other reasons because like even me uh, my when my when we took uh, wanted to take this decision my husband first asked me Uh, but are you ready to just you know give up on your things i mean this is something really difficult and are you really prepared for it or ready for it or willing to do it and i was ready because i really wanted to do it uh, again having said that i am also into writing and translations though i don't take any corporate work uh, i take up now some literary work which is as per my convenience or as per uh, flexible timings and i can do it when my son is doing something else so which is very much of a flexible time schedule for my work that is the reason uh, i can devote that much time when i say devote that much time uh, well i will say uh, schooling can at times be stressful but home schooling you require lot of dedication by dedication i mean when i am with my son in the mornings so our schedule is generally we are all early risers so in the mornings when i am spending my time with my son i see to it that the that my phone is not with me it cannot be ke, i mean abhi to lockdown hai but it cannot be like my friend has called me up and said that chalo let's meet over a cup of coffee i can't just get up and go because as you have your work schedules and when you have a, a project submission the next day you would prepare similarly uh, or if you are working as a teacher at a school you would give some time uh, the uh, earlier night you might want to prepare something that you want to share with your students similarly here every single day uh, the prior night even if there is no a uh, physical printing out of a worksheet it has to be some mental preparation that you need to do as to what you are going to talk with your child forget teaching what do you want to talk about what because even if you say that every day kya sikhana hai correct hai you don't have to constantly study 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 and teach 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 and learn 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 there are times when you just want to sit and discuss all these things you need to be taken under consideration so in our case i had decided that yes i am going to cut down on a lot of work and do it but there are some homeschooling mothers uh, or homeschooling families i would say where fathers have uh, taken uh, uh, said that no i will take care of the homeschool you go there are families where uh, both the parents are working they have grandparents at home and when they are at office uh, they have certain schedule set up for the kids they are the kids are little older and um, when they are back they have their uh, learning or whatever so basically if you really want to do it if you have done your homework right if you have done your uh, research right then you again it cannot be something like acha so if amruta is doing this uh, study this uh, curriculum this learning this book and this timetable and this schedule and this annual calendar perfect i'll copy paste it no it can't work that way because it's a way of life it cannot what is correct for me what is right for me and what is working out for me not necessarily will work for namita or not necessarily will work for someone else so you have to find out what works for your family the best what are your child's weaknesses strengths likes and dislikes and and then design the curriculum and the schedule and the planner everything yeah that's true also uh, because of the lockdown i mean i've been seeing a lot on social media a lot of parents so i think it's a it's a word of caution for all of them to understand that a lot of branding has been done regarding or there are packages about which you're sure i'm i'm definitely sure you're aware of that you know home schooling available and i so i i know of parents who said that i have now decided to home school my child 
Yes. So, uh, I think the education minister of our country also needs to partially understand, not completely, because that really takes a lot of time. That there is a difference between teaching and learning at home, because even teaching and learning at home are two different things, and home Correct. schooling is definitely a step further. Correct. So, uh, what do you would like to tell all those parents? Because right now everybody. is learning the basic thing so i think uh, you have better ideas because you are yeah. there with your son practically the whole day yeah so uh, the thing is sorry just a minute hold on sure so uh, okay yeah so the thing is that uh, uh, firstly i will answer regarding the uh, business models or the uh, activity Uh, classes uh, for homeschooling specifically. Otherwise, I'm not against any activity classes as such. I mean, it's okay. There are uh, you need to engage your children. You need to meet up online because now it's lockdown. And even if otherwise, the kids have to meet, right? They have to socialize. So uh, I'll just give a little bit background, and then I'll come to your answer. Come uh, come to your question. So the thing is that when there was no lockdown. Regarding the socialization factor, what we used to do is my son used to play. So he used to playing a lot, and we strongly believe that uh, that was also one of the reasons why we started to homeschool because we wanted a lot of time for playing. So he used to play like three hours tennis every single day. He used to play football every weekends four hours, and he used to swim one hour one hour. So this is the kind of uh, playing or sports or. Uh, Activities that we are talking about, right? Then if there was lockdown, and I understand we are all stuck. The world is at, uh, indoors, and then there are suddenly a, a surge in um, homeschooling uh, classes, homeschooling academies, and I don't know what exactly they do. But uh, all I want to say is that is completely different. That is something like classes where you learn a subject. home schooling is primarily where the parents become the teachers where the kids are freely deciding what they want to learn and at their pace the beauty and the whole essence of home schooling lies in that where for example my son is uh, weak in competitive math but strong in uh, maths as in the theory and he loves to read about maths and that's something really different which otherwise i don't think is possible in school but that is what we can do in home schooling if today he decides he wakes up and says that oh i want to study the leaves and the birds yes we can decide okay birds chalo let's uh, take out our encyclopedia let's go on internet and find that out and read and study that that is the freedom we can do here so home schooling classes will again give you a schedule a timetable as per their choice not as per your child's needs even if they customize so that is the main difference and another thing is uh, understanding the difference between uh, how to home teach home learn home educate i think we all need to unlearn first correct in order to begin anything and if at all home schooling then definitely you need to clear a lot of concepts first as a parent as adults we need to learn a lot of things then we can think of even home schooling our children i think a major aspect is what i feel is many parents should first or many adults should first learn what is to be a child absolutely perfect yeah. correct 100% and the second, yeah and the second thing is that we should learn to play by yes. our choice because yes. uh, even now when i see online sessions it's all about everything is done for the child so when a mother told me that i think you, you know we need to focus on uh, getting our kids to play by themselves mm-hmm. so when i uh, told a lot of parents about it so they they simply couldn't understand the fact that how could you leave a child alone i mean right. the concept so ideally a major aspect of home schooling begins from the childhood where child led and child directed self yes, play some child driven absolutely absolutely so and okay. many okay. cannot believe it namita many people cannot believe it when i say that uh, no seriously agastya decided that he wanted to 
study this. He wanted to study dinosaurs. And he has reached a stage that I sometimes go like, really? I mean, you have done like a PhD in dinosaurs, <laughs> you know? So, but so, that is what it is. It's child driven. So I have a question for a lot of parents who believe that why uh, homeschooling is an option. So considering what has made people, so all those who wish to uh, think about having homeschooling, I mean, if they wish to think about it, what is the suggestion which you could give to parents? No, see, there is nothing wrong in thinking that you wish to homeschool. Uh, and even if you want to homeschool, please go ahead. But only thing is, firstly, start with understanding your own limitations. Understand your nature. Are you the type of person who is going to helicopter around your child? Are you the kind of person uh, who is able to give freedom to your child or willing to uh, uh, have a child-driven curriculum or syllabus, you know? And the, obviously, see, we are there to guide them. It's not that child-driven matlab ha, wo kya har roz dinosaurs kar raha hai, kuch kar hi nahi raha hai. It, it cannot be that way. I understand, obviously. You are there to guide them. You are obviously telling also them at times that, okay, but it has to be a balance. It cannot be simply uh, that you give, uh, load them with worksheets and, okay, chalo, ye 50 worksheets kar diye. Okay, we are done for the day, but now you go and play. Now I'm giving you your free time. No. So, so these are the certain things and uh, doing the research, getting the family ready, understanding your child's likes and preferences and choices and then starting to homeschool. Then you jump into it. You don't straight away jump into it. You, it's a slow process. Uh, another question is when a lot of parents, what I have observed is when they, what are the five primary characteristics which you will recommend to a parent? You know, so... Uh, when uh, we, yeah, so when we've had parents, you know, who have uh, asked me for queries, so uh, I have always directed them to you. But I have seen a lot of parents who do not read. So I think reading is yeah. something which is very important yes. for a reading, reading and researching because that is not just to get started with, but even in your further uh, homeschooling entire process, because you are learning with your child, you're growing with your child, which we are any which ways as parents, but in homeschooling even more, because you are their teachers, you are Correct. actually learning. But okay, again, uh, having said that, let me just uh, make one more point. Uh, some parents say that, okay, I'm good with other subjects, but one subject I cannot handle, Baba. Science mujh se handle nahi hota, or maybe math mujh se handle nahi hota, something like that. Obviously, then can I uh, hire a teacher or maybe can my son uh, attend some classes? Yes, why not? Not necessary that everything will be done by parents only. But you cannot also have something where uh, for all the tuition uh, class uh, subjects, your son is go, your child is going from one class to another, one class to another then it just kills the entire motto of homeschooling. Hence, what you said, reading and research, that has to be there. What is the subject? Understanding the subject and giving the best of the material. Or may, even better, making your child independent. Giving him the right tools, giving him or her the right tools to become independent. May it be the dictionaries, may it be the thesaurus, may it be the Google. Making best use of internet. Make them independent. Internet is not bad. But telling them how to use it properly, how to use it well, is important. Another thing is dedication from parents, like I mentioned. So you have to follow a certain routine. You Like my son sleeps early. So he sleeps by 8 p.m. and he's up by 5.36. So that is his schedule. So we try to stick to that so in order to if we have late nights and we get up late then he is going to be wasting his time and it's going to be all you know it's not going to work that way so there are many things so this kind of dedication is required and being in sync so all the family members have to be at least on the same page at least the parents need to be on the same page yeah so that's something so it, it this is something which is 
that's that's exactly why i uh, when i just began i said it is a way of life and it is definitely not everybody's cup of tea also do you feel as a mother does homeschooling uh, become an expensive affair uh depends on what kind of uh, things you choose it can become an extremely out of the <laughs> budget uh, experience way exorbitant or you can actually make it uh, uh free as in if you free as in it can't be like free free sorry i used a wrong word but uh, really cheap or inexpensive uh like for example we uh, love khan academy and we are on khan academy practically for anything and everything so which is free but if i choose something uh, which is paid then obviously it will be expensive but uh, we love khan academy we love code.org i don't know why people end up spending thousands and thousands of rupees over coding classes when code.org and yeah. scratch is giving every damn thing for free you know so that's coding is such a big rage so i think it if uh, yeah so if kids can even manage to get a sequence of what they did the whole day i think the work gets done yeah so what i have observed as a mother also because now this is the time where parents will get a bit more time to spend i know lockdowns Correct. have been still very difficult but still yes. because we have double the work since yeah. there is no help so what would you recommend to parents if they uh, if parents who can't really home school but who wish yeah. to do it so is there something like partial home schooling yeah there is partial home schooling also where is uh, where in uh, uh, kids are uh, enrolled with uh, schools actually cambridge board offers this where in the kid can be enrolled with the school part time and uh, they can give only exams uh, at school and then otherwise they are home schooling okay but uh, so that really, one more yeah. yeah sorry go ahead no, no go ahead go ahead yeah so um uh, sorry okay it just <laughs> i i lost the point okay you you go ahead so uh, as a, a mother do you feel that partial uh, home schooling works uh for some it does work but for us okay. we never thought about it because again we wanted to customize every damn thing uh, so we have decided till the boards we will just enjoy this uh, customization customizing each and every and then uh, we will uh, appear for boards obviously when we are appearing for boards that time we will prepare for the boards the way everyone does so how, how do you normally go about with so a child since you've come to the point so after grade 9 so when you have to appear for the boards what are the yes. provisions which the boards give for home schoolers okay so the options available are igcsc uh, nios mios that is maharashtra institute of open schooling and you can also appear for ssc there is just there are some documents that you need to submit there is uh, okay. uh, there is a formality and otherwise uh, it's done so <clears throat> now uh, you enroll and then uh, yeah i mean uh, on igcse or anything it nothing is written like uh, you are a home school anything you just get your mark sheets that's it okay As so that is still a positive ray of hope for people in fact uh, yeah in fact igcse is very open to uh, uh, towards home schooling and everything they support on their website also you can find for private candidates what can be done and what not in fact the benefit is again that many a times for igcse even if they offer about 70 subjects to choose for from for the board exam uh, the schools are not offering because uh, the schools maybe have limited teachers or limited resources right. you know they have their own limitations and i'm not blaming them for that but obviously they have to cater to so many students they can't really customize it to one but as a being a private candidate or as a home schooler when you appear for igcsc uh, you can choose what you want you know you have that uh, flexibility that uh, that is possible and uh, even for nios again you can choose uh, whichever subject nios is national institute of open schooling which is our central yeah central board like our central board and any subject you can choose whichever you want and there's a good choice of subject in fact even nios has brilliant uh, choice available 
uh, and which is equally difficult so we had a impression that so okay. i had an impression initially that nios is pretty simple but when when it came to it, it's like it's worse than our boards <laughs> because it's like <laughs> starting from scratch so you yes. have to because there is no uh, when you have learning which is not defined because we are so used to being put in the box or in the mold correct and then correct. we pop so yes. otherwise uh, and another thing that we said no about reading and researching where this reading and research come, uh, comes handy so in schools we are generally spoon fed everything right from homi bhabha right. is happening right from olympiad happening right from events happening right from everything happening around children is informed in school either on the bulletin board or in their calendars or on the website whichever way here you are the bulletin board here <laughs> you are the yeah. researcher so you have to go out there and find out there's no one who's going to come knocking at the door ke bhaiya kal ye exam hai aap aa jao this is your hall ticket no you have to go there and find out and get it for you okay another question most of the uh, parents ask is are home schoolers allowed to give olympiads yes there is a list of uh, there are many uh, olympiads where home schoolers are allowed in fact now earlier some home schoolers have faced this difficulty but i think thanks to them that they have fought a lot and they have made a beautiful way for uh, new home schoolers like us i'll consider myself a new one because my son is still just 9 years old you know we have not even reached the stage where we have started giving any olympiads but uh, for parents who have already been there and done that they have made a beautiful way for us a path for us which is making our yeah. life easy but again easy as in we have to do the research no one is going to come and give it to you in your hand ke bhaiya ye hai olympiads yahan pe jao this is the date no you go on the website you find out the website you go on the website find out the dates fill up the form submit it everything is done by you so that's why you need to be proactive with deciding what you want to do yes yes if you're ready you need to have your ready yes you need to have your uh, fundas clear what you want what is your so is is your home school going to be academically driven is your home school hello Yeah, yeah. I Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just dropped. I think so. Yeah. So uh, unschooling is again another ball game altogether. It's completely free learning, completely child driven. Whatever the child wants to learn. So there are no books in that. It's unlearning. It's it's completely different. So you need to understand what is going to suit you. Is it Waldorf inspired? Is it going to be Montessori inspired? Is it going to be nature inspired? Is it going to be the traditional Indian schooling inspired? You know. the gurukul system inspired any anything it is it is going to be something which suits you and your family and your children and your way of life and then you follow that true so i think we had almost all questions answered so all those who wish to uh, have any queries can uh, message either of us on um, Instagram Messenger or on Facebook because we both have uh, shared our names. So provided, so I a word of caution is that we always appreciate somebody who is genuinely willing to learn. That's our primary criteria. So we prefer uh, questions in a format with someone who is really wanting to learn something. And I think we all are students all our life. So if as a parent. if you wish to be a part of this homeschooling journey and would love to interact with amruta we are more than happy to do that but it has to be something which you have chosen by your own will not forced you know because everybody is doing it let's do it because it's not easy as you all realized it so amruta thank you so much for spending your valuable time with us thank you so much for inviting me for such a amazing such an amazing conversation <laughs> the is only so this is amruta's first insta live session right 
Yes, because I am not very active on Instagram. Yeah. So uh, such a Facebook is, uh, person, you know. Yeah. So the Instagram viewers have missed Amruta for all these years. So I think it's high time that she's <laughs> back here. Although I know it's very difficult yes. because um, a homeschooling mom has much more challenges and much more struggles, which are so. Uh, Amruta, the questions have started. What are the resources? Yes. And uh, so what we could do is. as amruta has shared uh, i will be posting her um, web page of homeschooling moms on my instagram handle or amruta can post it on her instagram handle whichever suits and then you all can be in touch and there are people who want to be t- in touch with you so uh, amruta will be messaging sure, on her I will. yeah yeah and thank you so much for your time amruta thank and you so much namita so- more sessions like this in the future thanks yes. thank bye. you bye <laughs> bye bye thank you